For more on the Gaza conflict, we're joined in Washington by our senior national security analyst, Juan Zarate. Juan, good evening. Good evening, Margaret. What exactly is Egypt trying to accomplish? Well, Egypt's trying to broker a ceasefire here. They want the violence to stop. They also want to demonstrate that they can serve as a regional power. They can bring peace. And for the sake of President Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood running Egypt, they want uh, to consolidate power and to get their economy running. They don't want a war to be starting on their, on their doorstep at a time when they are not in full control in Cairo. Now, Egypt and Israel are the top recipients of U.S. foreign aid. What kind of leverage does the U.S. have, particularly with this new government in Egypt? Well, President Obama has pledged a billion dollars in aid uh, to the Egyptian government. Uh, that money uh, is incredibly important to the Egyptians. Uh, their economy has been faltering. In addition, the Egyptian military receives uh, almost $1.3 billion per year from the United States. In addition, uh, the Egyptian government's looking for support from other actors like the International Monetary Fund and the European Union. And so all of that, the money that the Egyptian government needs, provides the U.S. leverage to try to get the Egyptians to bring peace to this conflict. Juan Zarate, good evening. Thank you. Thank you.